festival where you've got food from every part of the planet, but you also have musical entertainment. And we, we go from street buskers to the best of the big bands. So it is an eating and entertainment extravaganza. It's fantastic. It gives you a more neighborhood feel in a city that's so large. We're sitting here together on the longest day of the year where there's the most light, the most energy, and we're matching that internally. Everyone is practicing together, giving each other energy, and that vibe was all throughout Times Square. It was back there to all, all the way, way down there. there, yep. This project is about your image, your own face. It's about pushing limits. It's about showing that art can go in places where we don't always expect it. This is a project that's been all over the globe, and of course Times Square is the crossroads of the world. Amongst all these advertisements, there should be artwork. Crossroads of the world right now looking more like a maze of construction, undergoing a three-year, $40 million makeover, transforming the plaza into a more pedestrian-friendly area. This stretch along 42nd Street and Broadway now topped with new pavers. My name's Steve Lambert, and we're here having people vote on whether or not capitalism is working for them in their lives. This has been a place that has represented free speech, uh, free market, and it's key that we engage our very, very diverse audience here in this kind of question. The capitalism sucks. It just sucks less than everything else. What do you got that's better? Show me something better, especially for our size. I do!